Hello everyone. Welcome to the fabulous life of a flight attendant. My name is Rajal Khalid Hogeta Kalong and I've been a flight attendant for 13 years for Continental Airlines, which is now United Airlines. I fly free with my parents and travel companion all over the world. So whenever that's the reason why I did it. I still love flying. And once you become a flight attendant, you'll always be a flight attendant. It just never goes away. Did you know that before you become a flight attendant, you have to be a nurse? So you have to grad be graduated as a nurse. Anyway, with the reduction of flights and the pandemic, losing my career was devastating. But with becoming a nursing student at Dominican College has given me a new passion. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the wonderful service of a flight attendant. A typical day of a flight attendant is um, you'll get a call from scheduling and then you will pack your luggage for a six day trip and then you commute to your base, usually to um, the big city. Uh, you don't want to live in a big city because it costs a lot more money and you don't get paid much as a flight attendant. So check on your, then after you get to your base, you check on your flight for delays and then you check into your, to the operation desk. And once you check into your operating desk, the reason why you check in the operating de operation desk is because you, um, you, they, want you, they want to know that you're showing up for your gate, for your flight. So then uh, yeah, that's why you have to show up for your operation desk. Then you go to your gate and then you meet the airplane. You check for your emergency equipment um, called pre-flights. And once you've done that, you do your preparation for the galley for passenger service. 